John Henry looking right down at it. Sends Thank it you. down. So we get a skip. Oh, look, at, look that. at this. That is a sweet shot That's there, That's how you put it down to within 20 feet. Nice low skip shot. Sean Bresky with a chance here. It's two out of the lead. He needs to go, too. He needs to make something happen. Running out of holes. He sends oh. his up a lot higher than the other shot. Yeah. That cost him a little bit. Got Jamie off here to the right of this fairway, looking to get up there as close as he can. Another tree. Another early tree. Tried a little righty forearm shot. Boy, he's got the buckle down. Let's see Sean's going at it. And he puts it right nice there. Nice play. Inbounds at the Rhodes OB behind, too. So not only is it a tight with a tight hole with a Mando with a tight fairway, but the basket's located 10 feet from OB. All right, Jamie's down there. Nice shot there. A John Henry looking to get that birdie. Whoa, Ooh, that right was, side uh, and it stayed. Nice call, Matt. Good view of Sean finishing up here. Yeah, Sean with his Bam. four, nicely done. All right, Matt, we're going to head to a break here. It's a tight match. Yeah, uh, John Henry's taking the lead. We'll be right back. Hi, I'm Brian Schwerberger, and you're watching Disc Golf Monthly, the show that brings you one step closer to the sport of disc golf. Nanotechnology, building atom by atom. Pennsylvania's Nanofabrication Manufacturing Technology Partnership is preparing Pennsylvanians for the jobs of tomorrow. As your governor, I want to encourage young people who are still in school as well as workers who want to gain new skills to consider the educational opportunities available through the partnership. Call 866-NANO4ME on the web nanoforme.org. All right, welcome back. We're here on basket 10. It's a par three, 400 feet, Matt. Yeah, this is another one of those tough 400 footers. We're going uphill, well protected, right behind some. Pretty open, but you, like you said, well protected at the end. Well protected at the end, going slightly uphill. And like I said, I, I, the wind has started to pick up, Cubby. So out here now in the open, it's definitely going to be more, the disc is going to be more affected by the, the wind currents. Sends another nice low drive. That's tailing off a little bit to the left. And that's okay. This is one of those uh, par threes that are 400 feet that, well, you really can't get to. So you're playing for position to make sure that you can get the par. Got it. Another nice low drive. He's got some good D on it. I thought I heard. I thought I heard some wood. I'm not sure. We'll see what that ended up in a moment. See if Jamie can take that lefty shot and bring it. Yeah, out. he's trying to take the big right to left shot. Trying to lay it out there, but it fell out to the right there. High. He's way, way back. John Henry with a tight little shot here, up and over through those trees. Nicely done. Matt, you know, John and uh, Sean have been using the low shots pretty effectively. Yeah, absolutely, and it works definitely in the wind, and it keeps your disc more on line, so if you hit a tree, it doesn't really go far off line. That one's a little bit high, but cutting back nicely. All right. A little bit past, but it looked like he was giving that a run, so Sean will be up first. About 25 feet. Looking for his par. Oh, oh, I thought oh, he wow. had it. He got top, middle, bottom, but it's went out. Did not stay. Tough break there. Yeah, that one's that's a tough one to take. He's gonna try to compose himself. John finishes to clean up the putts. 
Well, could be John Henry still has that one shot lead. We got we got ourselves a good match going here, Matt. Sean just two behind. Needs right. to make a move. Not many holes left. Matt, we're on basket 11, a par three, 315 feet. Now this one, do you think you could reach it, right, Cubby? It's reachable. Look at that flag. The Look wind's the wind. blowing harder. This is definitely another well-protected target, stuck in a little crevice of trees. Big pull, high shot. Yeah, you got your choice here. I think John Henry put it up a little high, and yeah, it's a little uh, left. You can see the wind is definitely a factor now, Cubby, as we get to these open holes. The higher they go, the more they're going to turn somewhere, yeah. Matt. Now, Jamie gives it a good rip. Kept it a little bit lower and brings it back nicely. And he'll have a nice look here at a birdie. Now, Sean, he definitely needs to right the ship here. He's looking up, throw straight up there as far as he can and hook it in. Cutting nicely. Watch out. Oh, hit the tree, came in, hit the tree, bounced away. We'll have a puff for it too. Oh, we have the sun. The sun has made its first this appearance the sun is in the out. day. And that wind, look at the stuff blowing now, Cubby. That front is definitely moved through, and it's, it's definitely giving a challenge to these competitors. And the wind just pushed out way out. Comebacker oh, just short. Just the oh, boy. The That's a heartbreak for Burry to bogey. Jamie. Oh, oh to right side. They're shaking their heads. Out this the is back. tough in the wind on this target. Yeah, you I mean, the, the you got to be precise. The branches are moving, so we're probably got like 20 mile an hour winds coming through here, and it definitely is a huge factor when you're trying to put the, that biscuit in that little target. Oh, we see some changing in the scores here. Yeah, Sean is falling four behind. He needs to pick it up to have a chance here. Well, let's see if you can do it here, Matt. It's basket 12, par three, 360 feet. Boy, this is another long haul. It, it, it's it's and they're throwing from the pavilion here and it's going downhill the main problem is it's wet they got a towel down to try to keep their from sliding but that one got up a little bit high a little high that basket's way down there straight ahead there it is and john henry's way to the left it's hard to see for people but that target is really close to that peninsula in that parking lot so once again an evil position Goes high as well. Yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Way too high. Wow. So you can see the wind there. Yeah, it's blowing hard. Sean's shirt was moving there. The last two drives yeah, seem to get away good. high on both the uh, players. Let's see if Sean can. Yeah, the wind this. is definitely, looks like it's coming in their face a little bit. Now, we'll really keep it down. <laughs> And that got lifted too. There's that figure out there. That's John Henry Kane on safari. <laughs> Wind definitely took that disc hard, hard left. There he goes. He's got a long throw. He's put it up there. Coming in, but he's well short. Still some work. Well short. Yeah, so there's that basket location. That's why it was so treacherous from the uh, tee. And he really yanked that wow, the that's, wrong way, man. Wow, what happened there? You know what? I think the wind got to him. He was I thinking think about so. the wind and forgot to throw the shot. Sean's going to throw a little hyzer shot, play it out over the, the road and in. Nice that was shot. was nicely done there. Good execution. Well done. It's a good view of John giving it a run. Oh, oh, right almost. There. Hit the target. He wanted yeah. that one. Jamie, after that poor approach, oh, he misses the all things, went over the top. He's going to have a little comebacker yet for the bogey. 